Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and this is vlog number 3. I know I've taken a lot of weeks to come up from vlog 2 to vlog 3 but I'm back because I had something heartfelt to share with you guys and I thought the best way of doing that is through a vlog. Every single time you want to gift someone on their birthdays or on a special occasion and you always ask yourself this question of what is the perfect gift going to be? What's going to be something that the person's going to sort of value and cherish and you know hold on to? So it was my father-in-law's birthday a few days back. He's one of these guys who doesn't really like too many material things and I don't think there's anything that he doesn't have what he would possibly need. It again boils down to the question of what do we give to a person like this? Interesting uh, question. And that's with most of the fathers actually. He's, you know, into creating miniature models of things. He's been doing this for a very, very long time. This time, I wanted to do something which would last a longer period of time. So, you know, last lockdown, he had this station model that he was creating. This massive station with trains. I remember going and visiting him last year. And I just randomly, casually shot a video. And as time passed, I forgot about it. He forgot about it. And that was it. Cut to his birthday this year and we all sitting with that million dollar question of what do we gift him? What could that perfect gift be? I was going through my footage and I just found some of his footage and I was like, why can't I just make this incredible cinematic B-roll video of his miniature station that he's created and actually give it to him as a gift? So before I tell you more about it, I'd like to show you guys the video and get your comments on what it looked like and whether it was a good enough gift. So, are you ready? So that was a b-roll video that I created with just one camera and one lens. I tried and created that dynamic feel of, you know, as if it felt like a drone was flying on top of the train. And I sent him this video and I wanted to capture his reaction when he watched this video for the very first time. And it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. And I think while doing this whole thing, I realized something very, very important. We've always heard people say that the best gift that one can give another person is their own time. Times like today, you can't really physically be there in a particular place and you can't really give your time. But metaphorically, if you spend your time creating something that you love doing, using your talent, which actually is value, because, you know, you get paid for doing stuff like this. I get paid for making videos. I get paid for creating films. So if I use my talent and if I use my time and create something special for someone, I feel that's the most earnest gift that you can possibly give someone. And if you're an artist, you can actually draw an exclusive piece of art for someone. If you're a singer, you can record this incredible song for someone that you love. I have sort of made it a point that from here on, I am just going to give people things that I can create with my own touch, with my own time and using the time that I would otherwise use for work, for creating something for other people or for clients or for brands. I would use that kind of passion and that kind of energy and that kind of time to create something for someone I love. It also reminded me of the time when Sham was not my wife and she was my girlfriend. And I remember on her 24th birthday, I thought of gifting her 24 videos, which would play out every single hour. She still tells me that that was one of the best gifts she had ever received in her life. Someday I'll possibly share those videos with you, but I think I put in so much heart and effort because, you know, that's something you passionately do. An artist won't make a bad painting. A filmmaker won't consciously make a bad film or won't tell a bad story. So when you do that with all your heart and effort and mind, that is the best gift that one can give someone. So use your time, use your talent, use what you love doing and spend some time doing what you love for someone you love. And I think that for the last time is the best gift. 
Thank you for watching this video. This was vlog number three. Hopefully, I have something inspiring enough to share with you, which I will hopefully call the vlog number four. Till then, like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it with your friends and family. That's about it. See you in the next video. Cheers.